How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. This video is gonna kind of be part two in my trip over to Central Oregon. If you didn't see the first video, I have been over in Central Oregon. I came over here for the Overland Expo. Had such a great time, it was so much fun. And after that, I've just been doing a little bit of camping. Uh, I've been to Central Oregon a whole bunch, but really haven't done a ton of truck camping over here. So it's been a perfect chance to get outside, go see some new places do some trek camping and make some more videos for you guys. If you haven't already seen the first video while camping over in Central Oregon, go check that out. I'll link it in the description below. I found a super awesome campsite. Um, it was probably one of my top three all time favorite campsites and it was not what I was expecting. So if you're interested, go check that one out. And today's video is gonna be kind of similar. So I'm gonna try and find another free camping site. This time I might be looking for more of a viewpoint, somewhere where I can see the mountains and the stars at night, but it is also super hot today. It's over 90 degrees and I'm a little worried about spending a lot of time hanging out in the full sun. Uh, so I'm also kind of looking for a place with some shade. So let's go ahead and keep driving and see if we can find a spot to spend the night. It is Friday today, so I am interested to see how busy it might be up here. Fortunately, in Central Oregon, there are an abundance of trails. for tonight we'll see if I want to stay up there just because it is so hot right now and I don't think there's really any shade up there so I'll go check it out here so like I said I have been to this area before and it does have really pretty views of all of the mountains but at the same time it's also kind of like a shooting range almost there's lots of trash and garbage up here and uh, especially right now it's just not the cleanest spot so I was kind of curious to check it out and see if it was the same as it has been in the past and sure enough it is. It's pretty dirty up here right now and yeah, great views but not sure if this is going to be the spot I want to spend the night. So it is a great spot to uh, do some off-roading and test your 4x4 capabilities. So while I'm here, might as well go down this hill and uh, have a little fun with the Sequoia. For those of you guys who have been following my channel, you know I just got new wheels and tires like less than a week ago. Um, they're BFG KO2s, 33 inch tires, so I was curious to test them out. KO2s were awesome, so uh, pretty happy about that. And this is where we get to play the game, what's down this road? Sometimes I'll do a little bit of scouting, but most of the time it's just uh, picking a random road and going and seeing what's down it. Um, that's as simple as it is and really the best way to find spots. And sometimes you find out pretty quickly that roads are too technical or just uh, not in good, good enough condition to drive and that was the case with this one. So now we get the fun of reversing out of here. They can't all be winners, so let's keep going. See, this is what I'm talking about. I literally drive 20 feet and there's a whole nother road. Um, maybe we should go see what's up this one. And this is why you have to explore because looking at my Onyx app, right out here should be a big flat area. Um, you guys can see, but instead it's just a big pile of logs. So, and that's another reason why you can't do all of your planning based off of the off-road apps or satellites because things change and spots that might look like a great campground are not anymore. This is a perfect example of that. So I gotta find a place to turn around and um, then we'll go see what else there is. Well, this is definitely a campsite, but would I want to camp here? Definitely not. Uh, no shade and the dust is like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is like three or four inches deep of just like this super almost sticky dust. 
it is a mess. Um, some of this definitely camped here. There is a small fire pit, but uh, yeah, not the spot for me on a 90 plus degree day. This honestly feels like driving in sand. Like uh, the Sequoia was slipping up a bit there for a second, even with these tires. Let's uh, get out of here. We don't want to get trapped out here in the middle of nowhere with no service in the hot sun. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that behind me. I don't know if I want to keep exploring up in this area because it is just so dusty on both of the roads that I've gone down and uh, both of the roads that I've gone down at least going kind of up this way there's just no shade and it is just so hot it was cool to explore some of this area but I think I'm gonna head back down and see if I can find a spot in the woods where there's a bit of shade and um, just get out of this heat Check out how dusty the Sequoia wheels got just from this trail here. They were not even close to this dirty earlier before I went up this trail. They are just, they are just brown now. All the way back down the way we came up. This seems just like the start to my first camping trip over here in Central Oregon. Never knew what I was missing. Guys, there's literally no secret to finding amazing spots. I don't usually have any specific information or anyone telling me where to go. It's really just going out and try, trying different roads, driving down random roads. Like that's literally what I do too. Um, it seems pretty funny, it seems really random, but I think that's just part of truck camping and that's just how it works. In the past I'd spent so much time trying to find a spot beforehand, but honestly I don't recommend that. The majority of the time when you try to find a spot, at least in my experience, it just hasn't worked out. So I know it seems crazy, it seems funny, but um, seriously that's what I do too and that's how I found these spots. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. Um, just driving down a dirt road and See if, seeing if I can find a camp spot. Not sure what's down here, but we're gonna go check it out. Now, sometimes it does take a while, or it can take a while to find a camp spot. But one of the cool parts is even when you do find spots that are occupied, like this big area was here, um, at least now you have another area that you can pin and a spot that you can come back to. And every time that you come out of one trail, there's another road here, a road going that way, and a road going that way, so this is what I mean. That is so crazy to come out here and just see how many different trail systems there are. I just went down a completely random road and found an epic spot. Now, will I stay here? Not sure, but again, one of the coolest parts is now I have this location and I can pin it and save it. And if I'm ever looking for spots, I can come back to But check this out, super huge flat area. There's some spots in the sun behind me, a couple fire pits, people have clearly camped here. And uh, yeah, just nice spot in the shade. Um, definitely a potential camping spot, 100%. So it is almost seven o'clock. I really need to just find a spot and pick a spot, but I'm just having so much fun exploring all of these trails and I go down one trail and then all of a sudden there are three or four more roads leading off of that one and uh, I'm just getting distracted here. So 
just need to find a spot and pick one, but it is really cool to be able to just go out and explore like this. searching it is like 7 30 now I'm definitely getting hungry and uh, I have found a lot of spots but I'm kind of just being picky tonight I guess I've just been driving around for three and a half almost four hours now just the entire time out exploring and uh, like I was saying just in the central Oregon area there are just endless amounts of trails to explore which honestly is probably not helping me for tonight when I'm trying to pick a campsite. All right, so I think I found a pretty nice spot behind me. It's kind of just out in this meadow. Um, this is probably my favorite so far. This spot's kind of cool because it's kind of in the forest, but there's kind of a clearing right where this campground is. So if I did want to watch the stars at all or see the stars, this would be a good spot to do it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just uh, not feeling very decisive today instead of continuing to drive around and search I'd rather have time just to cook dinner in the light and just hang out and enjoy being out here so let's get some dinner cooking I know it's not ideal, but cooking on the dirt so I don't burn this entire forest down. I promise the version 2 build is coming soon and I'll have a proper kitchen set up. When I went to REI the other day, I got a whole bunch of options for camping food. Just want to use up all of the camping food that I bought. Tonight we're doing smoked three bean chili from Good To Go. So, never had this one before, but we'll test it out. that three bean chili takes 20 minutes which is like double the time of that pad thai that I had on the last trip so since I got time I'm gonna take a walk over and see if there is a creek over here you guys see how there's like a row of green trees and everywhere else it's just brown and dry I think that might mean there's a creek down there to see but there is a creek there not really great access like the last campsite I was at but still really cool how all of this green area forms near where the water is So the sun just just went down and my chili is finally ready. So let's see how this is. Tastes like chili. It's pretty good. I just finished up dinner. Three bean chili was pretty good. Um, I give it like a six out of 10. It wasn't the most flavorful and uh, it was pretty small. So check out how dusty it is out here. It's like, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's like a couple inches deep worth of dust. 
So I am not sponsored by BF Goodrich at all, although I would love to be. Um, but I just want to say how impressed I am with the KO2 tires after this first week of testing them in Central Oregon. In one of my other videos, I mentioned that I used to have KO2 tires on my Subaru, although I never really got to test them that much just because I never really took the Subaru off-roading. But after this first week in Central Oregon, I have definitely put these tires to a pretty good test and they have just been awesome. It's after nine o'clock now, it's starting to get dark and uh, yeah, overall, a lot of time driving today for sure. Um, I kind of wish I had picked the spot a little bit earlier just so I had more time to hang out and relax, but I guess that's what tomorrow morning will be for. So if I don't do any more filming tonight, I'll see you guys in the morning. guys honestly it was not too bad of a night last night the temperatures were pretty good and overall I slept pretty well super calm last night super peaceful um, I did get to see the stars just because there was this big opening above me the stars were absolutely amazing so cool to see them uh, coming from someone who lives in the city so um, just been a super quiet morning here the birds are chirping, the morning light has been gorgeous, so I'm just getting some photos and videos for you guys. And yeah, really not too much on the itinerary today besides just spending the morning relaxing. also a creek on this side this is kind of a separate meadow from the one I walked to last night but it's really cool it's the same thing as last night where there's kind of just this row of trees going along the meadow and it stands out because the rest of the meadow is just kind of dry grass and this is the only area where there are the trees and you guys can probably guess that that's where the creek is There are a couple other things on the to-do list for the Sequoia. Um, the biggest one, and I made a video about this, so if you're interested, go check it out, but is just doing a full rebuild on the camping setup. Hopefully that will be coming pretty soon, and super excited to start on that. All right guys, so it is about 9.30 now and I'm about to head out. Both me and the Sequoia are extremely dusty. Both of us definitely need to be washed off sooner rather than later. Um, these trails out here are just so dry right now and uh, as you saw from some of those videos there, it's just so much dust out here. Both of us are filthy. But um, this was an awesome trip. Super great site, really can't complain about it at all. It was probably one of the quietest sites I've been to. I might do a bit more exploring today uh, before heading back home. 
just check out some more trails. Overall, Central Oregon has been awesome. Love this area so much, so much so that I might even look into moving here, but who knows, just an idea for now. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys enjoyed kind of coming along with me on this trek camping trip. If you guys could like and subscribe, it really does help me out and allows me to keep going on these trek camping trips and keep making this content for you guys. So I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.